Hello, one and all, and we are back with our Gambler 500 Dotson build. Build? Well, right now it's a teardown. So here we are in the interior. Um, we're planning on popping this whole cab off to do stuff on the underside, and that means disassembling the interior. And since my girlfriend is such an expert interior car disassembler, she is here graciously lending me a hand and putting up with me. <laughs> Look at all the putting up in those eyes. So we're just going to gut pretty much anything we can get our hands on just to make life easier when this cab comes up. Should be able to just pull it out because... Don't, don't break it. How are you going to dispose of your ashes otherwise? What's more 70s car than the, you know, the centerpiece of your dashboard being the cigarette, <laughs> the cigarette ashtray? You want me to take over over there? Do you have a headlamp? Um, uh, yes. I have a headlamp literally in my pocket. <laughs> it's more so just that this is the most frustrating angle. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's always how it goes. Thank you. Oh, there you go. This is all rusty. breaking this vinyl even more. Yeah, I'm hearing that. <laughs> you want me to see? No, it's okay. Um, I've got the nice bench seat inside that I'd rather use instead. Mm -hmm. So it's it's no biggie. Okay. There we go. Oh, I should have kept that screw in. Why is that? The little one, because it was keeping this plastic bit from spinning, and now it spins. Whoops. Oh, but that's fine. You live and you learn. Ew, this cardboard, cardboard glove box is just disintegrating. Leather? No, this is this is like a cardboard. Uh, That's pretty gross though. That is disgusting. Gnarly. I'll bet that rat nest in the front is probably made mostly out of this thing. Oh, it just didn't want to come out like the other one did. Yeah. Oh my god. I know for a fact this is gonna be one of those like hundred dollar eBay parts of this brittle plastic. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, this is all chewed up. I know, it's chewed up on the back, probably literally by rats. So here's my pickle here. Here's a 21. That fits in there, but it doesn't go around the nut. You know, so what, it's 22? Here's my 22. doesn't go through the hole, but it would probably fit on the nut. Oh, this one's so close. I swear, you just gotta like file this down like a teeny bit and it would go right in. Moving on from the steering wheel, let's try to get this uh, cluster out. Oh, cool. Awesome. What'd you get? Uh whatever this is shut heat shut heat yeah I took that off the part where it connects so we can actually remove it the dashboard great now, this that's the heater box get a load of this uh, recirc valve Charlotte it's pretty funny look here's your there's your defrost there's your recirc it's just a little flap on the heater box isn't that funny yes. Wow um, oh oh You gotta be so delicate for this garbage. Okay, there we go. Sweet. It's so dirty. 
Well, it's behind the dashboard. Of course, it's dirty. Here we go. We got two more Phillips, Phillips heads. This sure would be convenient without a dashboard. Oh, there's uh, bolts behind them. Yeah, there's bolts behind them, but I think they're still a part of the bracket. Oh, are there nuts behind yeah, them? Yeah, sorry, nuts. Sorry. My, my mistake. There are nuts behind them. Oh, nuts. Okay. Let's hope they're just gripper nuts. They look like nuts, nuts, but... Well, probably, but let's hope they just are on there enough that this will do. He's spinning. Are they spinning? Yeah, I can see behind. I can see the nuts. because I'm not spinning the, come on. Now they're not. <laughs> well, that's just not smart. That should go into a threaded piece. Okay, let's see if I can't grab it like oh, this Oh, there's now. also a, a flat. A well, washer. Yeah. Lock washer. Yeah, lock washer. Okay. It. So don't lose both of those. Oh, we lost one already. All right, so the other one is off. Okay. Electronics. Yeah, there is electronics, and there's also going to be a physical speedometer cable on this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to squeak in behind it and get them. Okay, so undoing the speedometer cable. It's hard to see anything because, well, I can't see anything either. It's all just by feel. Okay. All right, speedometer cable is out. All right, it looks like it's just some electronics holding it in now. Is this a connector? I haven't seen a single connector. Yeah, it's all just wired right into itself, isn't it? Yeah. Well, this feels very connectory. Yes, it is. I'm just gonna lay here and enjoy how difficult it was to get here. You yeah, feel a nice rust on your back. Oh yeah, the rust on my back, the rust in my eye. Look how long those pins yeah, are. Yeah, I was just gonna say. It's almost comical at this point. There we go, okay. For you, my lady. Oh, uh, a little lighter than I thought. It's kind of cool, isn't it? It's very retro. I know, it's retro, but it's kind of modern because usually you didn't have like a lot of layers in old dashboards, they'd be like flat. But this one has got like... That's where the old stickers were. Yeah. They're gone. <laughs> yeah, usually like the dashboard would be like flat, you know. You think it could go 100 miles per hour? Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think. Even if this thing could go 100 miles an hour, I wouldn't want to be in it. <laughs> So this thing was glued on, unlike all these other ones. So uh, that's gonna be a problem. We're gonna have to unplug it and take it out with the whole dash. Mm. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, once we start getting up on the heater core though, we should be able to make our way all the way up to the top here. Let's see where the e-brake keeps on. This is garbage. What's garbage? Oh, the cardboard. <laughs> yeah, the little tiny thing that connects the broken cardboard. I don't think we'll be needing that. All right, I think uh, I think things are actually looking pretty empty over here. You did a really good job. Um, I'll oh, gra I will the, grab the rat nest. Don't yeah, worry. The rat nest and the electronics are all bundled up right there. I don't. Know oh yeah, that's that's a lovely it. little fire hazard here. I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll 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 clean those all out. <laughs> it looks like this dash has got some uh, some use after all. Gross. I tell you what, if there is a dead mouse in there, I'm gonna be very sad. You'll definitely know I've touched a dead mouse. I'll make a very, very uh, distinct noise. Do you wanna guess what the noise would be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that, something really dignified. A little eep. Probably get the leaves that are underneath the other side too. What do you mean? There's leaves back here. Oh, there's leaves there too? Yeah, there's leaves. There's leaf 
poop everywhere. Man, that stinker was busy. <laughs> Gross. Look at all that. Crud. Little mouse. It looks like there's some stuck in the wires in that ball. Yeah. I'm was, what? Oh my god, he gnawed on the wires too. You can see it right there. Oh yeah. I Wire see. gnawing. Hopefully that zapped him, the little bugger. At least there wasn't a lot of pee. <laughs> Usually the I know we're gonna lift the seat up from rat, the house piss. rat piss. Yeah, that's gonna <laughs> suck. Okay. I'm just gonna throw this whole thing away. I love the uh, the surgeon precision that someone used putting this radio in. Someone just <laughs> someone just grabbed that thing with vice grips and just peeled open the biggest hole they can get. You know. Yeah. <laughs> actually, the Datsun one was an AM radio only, but I wonder if whatever is in it now actually is an FM radio. Here, let me plop it out for you. Uh, you can probably you. get that by hand now. Ow. Okay. Because there's no way someone did any more work than was bare minimum to put this thing in, so it'll probably just yep, plop right out. Ooh. Hey, don't worry, that was metal. Yeah. Oh, pff, that would have never worked. <laughs> what? What happened? It was all on. Unless you just ripped that out. I I kind of doubt that. No, that looks the metal's rusty on the ends of the wires, so that that's been like that. Yeah. Yeah, this doesn't aren't those rusty? Or am I tripping? Or are those yeah. copper? Those are those are corroded a little bit. Okay. What's the oh it's just there's not a, there's a fuse. Okay. It's in the back there. Alright, let's pull this off apart. Radio. Neat. Oh, does it say? It's a Hitachi radio. Transistor radio made in Japan. Interesting. That's kinda cool. I got a model number on the back. I can actually see what it might be. Uh, yep. Yep. Disintegration. Yeah, I don't know if I would have wanted to reuse those anyway. <laughs> All right, got one more thing unplugged. It's weird that the rabbit is like a 20 years newer car and it's way easier to get the dashboard out than this Ugh. all right there we go there's that side um there's pretty limited plugs in here left okay i want to take special note of these things as they come out because these are all spade clips they look like they'd be interchangeable all right. These two go on the coil on the driver's side, a blue and a green and yellow stripe. Now here we have, this is the brake pedal. And to the brake pedal connect this, uh, man, is this really a green and thick stripe to oh great two green and yellows that's okay that's just a switch so the green and yellow and here is the uh neutral safety switch Ugh. well that's all right we're not going to need that anyway so for the neutral safety switch it's the blue with yellow stripe and for the brake pedal it is the green with yellow stripe and both of these are paired together that one coil is the um, the blue and green, or the blue, just a solid blue, and then a green and yellow stripe. For this relay on the passenger side, it connects to this solid white and this solid, okay, you're, you know your colors. I'd say this is solid green, no, blue. solid blue. Yeah, that's it changes cool. in the light, it's kind of wild. Okay, here's the last of it, I think. Yeah, there's the big one. And there's everything on the dashboard, aside from this one spade clip, which is red with a yellow stripe. Pop! Come on, you're, you're a connector. It's your one job. Okay, I think all these other knobs are either electric or already disconnected, except for this. This goes to the choke. 
Got a vice grip on the back of it. I'll just put that right back on there. One more thing, I don't know if you can see it, but there is this room to defrost. That's still hooked up here. That's just a Phillips. Off that comes. Keep an eye on that. Okay, there's the cable off. All right, let's pop these off. This is the steering column. It is, well, I'm taking it off with a 12, but I suspect that might be an 11. Figures. I went through all this trouble of finding the 12. Um, a certain somebody got blasted on twisted T's and decided to fix the car. Yep, looks like we'll be finding the 11. Now it looks like it's time to try to get the whole dashboard out. So it looks like it's held up by six bolts. There's one here, one here, one here, one there, one there, and one in the far end. Uh, these are all 11 millimeter, and I'm just gonna go at it. I think that's the last one there. Let's tuck these up out of the way and we'll see what's still hanging on in here. Popsicle stick. All right, it looks like it's pinched right there on the steering column. Hmm. Maybe I should a little bit been a little bit more careful on what's over there. What fell? Okay, that fell. All right. Yeah, I think that's everything. So there we go. There is the deceptively involved process on how to remove a dashboard from a Datsun 521. If you join me next time, we'll be taking apart the rest of the interior and getting ready to remove the cab. Take it easy.